Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Pastor Randy Scott on this beautiful Monday morning with uh, our morning tidbits from Iron Faith Fellowship Church. And uh, as you can see, I'm at the at the home front. Uh, had some a uh, couple of business things coming this morning uh, to the house. Had to be here this morning uh, to uh, meet them. Uh, but anyhow, here we are. And as we uh, Get started here this morning. Some folks will be coming out, I'm sure. Uh, but uh, just uh, take time uh, to thank God. You know, maybe right even now, even though they're listening to me, just thank God for what you got. Okay, just thank God for who you are. If you know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, just thank Him for your salvation. Uh, but just thank Him. You know, take time to thank Him. Sometimes, you know, we we think that what our prayers uh, need to be doing is asking asking Him for things. And sometimes you just need to spend a, a moment of time, uh, maybe even the day, just thanking them. Just thank them. Okay. Uh, that's not even our tidbit this morning. That's a little extra credit. So good morning, everybody. Hey, Brother Mark, how you doing this morning? Cheryl, how you feeling, babe? And uh, that might be Michelle, uh, could be Margie down there, says Facebook user. I'm not sure, but the people are coming on. It's good to see everybody this morning. Again, on this beautiful Warm and toasty Monday morning. This is the day the Lord has made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Jesus comfort zone is what I want to share with you just for a couple of minutes. Jesus comfort zone. How to experience that? How do we experience Jesus comfort zone? Well, we got to get out of our own comfort zone. Okay. Uh, and that's hard to do sometimes. Hard to get out of the boat, isn't it? Okay. Uh, when you see rough seas or uh, stormy seas ahead, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's hard to get out of the boat. Because why? Because you're comfortable. You're in your comfort zone. You you feel like you're in your safe place. Well, you know, our safe place is Jesus Christ. OK, uh, he is our safe haven. He's our comfort. Uh, he's our stay. He's our security. He's all these things. But you, sometimes to experience that many times to experience that, you got to get out of your comfort zone. Uh, we have a ministry and I'm going to promote this ministry this morning. We have a homeless ministry and it's awesome. Uh, 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 some people seen on Facebook uh, where I where I made a statement. Uh, you can't really receive a true blessing until you hit the streets. And at Iron Faith Fellowship, we truly believe that uh, that you got to get off your seat, get on your feet, and hit the streets. Uh, uh, and that's what we do periodically. And we know there are other ministries out there doing these things, but we have a certain spot that we go to, and uh, uh, and uh, it's a been a blessing uh, to folks. Uh, yesterday we gave out a whole lot of stuff whole lot of stuff. But you know, guess what? We gave out more than anything else. A whole lot of Jesus. Amen. Uh, uh, some of the men recognized us. Uh, it was awesome. Some of the ladies recognized us. It was a good time of fellowship with them, uh, uh, giving them some food to eat and, and uh, sleeping bags. Sleeping bags were a big thing. Sleeping bags and backpacks uh, were a big thing. And uh, but, you know, but you got to get out of your comfort zone to go down there, and experience that blessing. And I'm not tuning anybody's horn. You know, this is what we do. And uh, it's not an easy ministry. I get that. Uh, uh, you know, uh, you're you're around folks that you've heard a whole lot of mythical stories about. You know, that homeless people are terrible and and uh, all these kind of things. And no, they're just people need Jesus. Okay, they're just in a bad way. And and you know, we as the church need to hit the streets and and experience these things. They need a hug. They need some love. And they need some things. But you got to get out of your comfort zone. What to experience Jesus' comfort zone? And Jesus' comfort zone. Uh, obviously isn't always uh, comfortable. <laughs> it isn't. But guess what? The blessings abound in that comfort area. That's right, Mark. Set the boat on fire. You'll get out. Amen. I love that. Uh, uh, I don't do this enough. I need to share a little bit more when people share stuff. Uh, 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 you got to you set the boat on fire and you get out. Amen. I'm uh, I'm just that kind of pastor too because I challenge people. You know, get off your get off your seat, get on your feet, and let's hit the streets. And we need to get out there. And uh, uh, and you'll find that that you're not as uncomfortable as you think you'll be. And you'll find probably that you fit in just well, uh, just very fine because you're doing what the Lord would have you to do. Well, you know, in Scripture chapter uh, nine of Acts. You know, Ananias. Uh, uh, you know had a relationship with Jesus, obviously had a relationship with Jesus. Jesus spoke to him in <laughs> visions. And, and, uh, but, uh, when Jesus asked Ananias to do something for him, okay. It was going to require him to get out of his comfort zone. Okay. And into Jesus comfort zone, which really probably was not very comfortable for Ananias, but you know what? 
He had how he got out of his comfort zone was he trusted Jesus more than his comfort. You know, sometimes we get too comfortable. OK, we get too comfortable. We get too complacent. We, we like to sit. The seats feel good. You know, and then once we're done, you know, church is over with. OK, Lord, I did you a favor. I was here this morning. I'm sorry. You know, uh, there, there's more to it than that. Uh, there's more to it than that. And sometimes God makes us uncomfortable in our comfort zone to get us into Jesus comfort zone. So think about that. So let's go to the scripture. Let's go to Acts chapter nine. That's right, Cheryl. They, they, they're definitely they're definitely human, just like us. They are a creation of God. Amen. When we look at those folks, we should not look at them differently than we are. They are a creation of Jesus Christ. OK, they're his creation just as well as we are. They need Jesus. But how will they know unless we go down? You know, and uh, you'll never know until you experience that blessing uh, to, to meet with those folks. Because you know what? That, yesterday, and I got to share this, uh, and then we'll get back to the scripture. I'm sorry. Yesterday, I mean, they were so, so polite. So polite. Thank you. Thank you. They didn't want more than than, than uh, what they needed. OK, they didn't want to overload themselves. OK, they took a sandwich. They took a, a, maybe two bananas and a bottle of water. And thank you. Thank you so much. And it's like, wow, you know, we're thanking them. You know, I mean, it's just a humbling time, guys. It's just a very humbling time. So if you're not in a fellowship or in our area, you know, we encourage you to get involved and step up. And uh, and if you want to help, if you want to help, if you can't be there, if you want to help, we need backpacks and uh, sleeping bags. Uh, uh, that's where uh, those are the things that went the quickest. We're going out November 7th and I'm sharing this. I know I'm jumping into tidbits here, but I'm so pumped up about this. Uh, uh, we're going out again November 7th. The weather will be getting a little colder. What we don't need is clothing. What we need is slightly used jackets, scarves, hats, gloves, new socks, new underwear, if you're going to do those kind of things. New socks and new underwear, okay? Those are the things that, that go the most. But sleeping bags, backpacks. Anyhow, there you go, okay? That's my my plug for that that particular ministry, and it's awesome. I, I just can't put in enough words. Uh, uh, I personally... Uh, have been involved down there for over 10 years uh, and had a couple of the guys come out and it was just a bunch of, hey, when you coming back, aggravator, you know, they call me aggravator, agitator, when you coming back? And so I need to try to get another team up uh, so we can go down and, and minister to the guys. It's like a once a week, you know, you go down and you share with them the song and, and uh, give them the word, but they, 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 uh, many of them enjoy it. Many of them get blessed and, and, uh, but getting the blessing comes back to you because it's so humbling and stuff like that. Well, okay, let's go to Acts chapter nine. I'm going a little over time here. Uh, I'm going to start in verse 10 and uh, let's see what happens here with Ananias. Uh, now there was a certain disciple in Damascus named Ananias. And to him, the Lord said in a vision, Ananias. And he said, here am I, Lord. So the Lord said to him, rise and go to the street called Straight and inquire uh, at the house of Judas of one named Saul of Tarsus. For behold, he is praying. And in a vision, he has seen a man named Ananias coming in and putting his hand on him so he might receive his sight. Wow. Then Ananias, now listen to this. Now, Ananias is a pretty comfortable place right now. Okay, now the challenge comes. Then Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard uh, from many about this man, how much harm he has done to your saints in Jerusalem. And here he has authority from the chief priest to bind all who call in your name. But God. Verse 15, but the Lord said to him, go, for he is a chosen vessel of mine to bear my name before the Gentiles, kings and the children of Israel. For I will show him how many things he must suffer for my name's sake. Wow. Ananias had a choice to make, folks, didn't he? He had a choice to make. He was in a comfortable place. OK, wasn't bothering anybody. Obviously, he had a relationship with Jesus. OK. Because in visions, okay, obviously he had a relationship. Jesus spoke to him in a vision. The word of God says that here. But still, Ananias had a choice to make, didn't he? Okay? Step out of his safe comfort zone and step into Jesus' comfort zone and be obedient, okay, and do what he needed to do. And guess what? He did that. He stepped out of his comfort zone, stepped into Jesus' comfort zone. It wasn't very comfortable for him. But, wow, the blessing that ensued from that. Saul of Tarsus, Paul, he became Paul. Wow. And we know about Paul, don't we? But it took an Ananias to do, to be obedient, okay, to get out of that comfort zone, to be willing to do those kind of things. It's just like ministering to the homeless. You got to get out of your comfort zone. You got to get out of the comfort of your home, okay, which God blessed you with in the first place, not to just 
be comfortable and not serve him, but to be grateful for what you have to, so you can go minister to those that have not. That's what it's about. Amen. Jesus comfort zone is the best comfort zone to be in, but you got to get out of your own comfort zone to experience Jesus comfort zone. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We praise you. We bless you for who you are. Lord, we need as believers to step out because Lord, the gospel needs to be shared uh, to a world of darkness. Lord, we need to be that light. But how can we be a light if we don't go out? So Father, I pray you convict us, you guide us, you lead us to do these things. Lord, to serve you, to get out of our comfort zone, to leave our homes, uh, to hit the streets, to do what you'd have us to do, and to share the gospel message. Wow, what you pour out upon us. We don't have to ask for a thing. We don't have to ask for a thing. Thank you, Lord, for what you do in our lives. Father, we want to be part of the gospel. Father, it was Ananias' obedience, Lord, that, that completed the task of Paul. Paul got saved, baptized, rose up to serve you in a great way. Oh, Father, we need to, to minister to some Pauls out there. So use us, Lord, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. Love you guys. Love you guys. Hey, Will, what's going on, brother? Good to see you. Love you too, man. Brother Will from Texas. Uh, the, the big butt. We always tease him. The, you know, the, 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 the country down under, Texas. <laughs> Good to see you, brother Will. And uh, uh, brother Will will agree. 100%. You got to get off your seat, get in the streets and get those kind of things. He's doing that right in Texas. He goes to the abortion clinics and ministers in love. Okay. With word seasoned with salt. He, he takes the word out there and, and wherever he can go. So uh, folks, let's, let's, let's do better church. Let's step up, step out. Let's get out of our comfort zone, jump into Jesus comfort zone and let's turn the world upside down for Jesus. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 10 AM for some more morning tidbits. Have a blessed and awesome day. Bye-bye.